by redesigning a building that's totally transparent. And the best example of one I know that everybody can associate with, at least in New York City, is the new Apple building on Fifth Avenue. Just the entrance to the Apple store is a remarkable space because everybody's sort of attracted to it. Like, what is that? It's a totally transparent, and yet it's their thing. Now, if you can imagine five stories of that and a half of a city block and beautiful plants of all kinds growing inside and restaurants associated with them all the way around it and green markets, come on, what's wrong with this picture? Nothing's wrong with that picture, nothing. So that's, that's what the future could hold for us if we decided that this was a good idea that needs to be at least tried. This year, the United States government set aside $300 billion for Farm Bill. $300 billion. And if you look in that Farm Bill, there isn't one penny for alternate agricultural strategies, not a cent. A lot of it is farm insurance. A lot of it is food aid. They have $2 billion that's earmarked for nothing. That's just in case they need it. Well, I raised my hand, but nobody saw it, you know, because I could have used one billion of that. How's that? Because if I had a billion dollars or even a half a billion dollars, I could, I can, well, <laughs> I actually might have that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm sort of preempting my next or your next question to me, and that is who could afford these things if they're going to be so expensive, right? But the fact is that the first one of anything is expensive. Uh, the first 10 of anything is expensive, but the first, maybe the, the hundredth one starts to be reasonably priced. And then, you know, I can take out my cell phone. It's off, by the way, so I can, I can show it to you. I mean, it, lo, you imagine what a cell phone looked like 10 years ago, right? It was clunky and big and had an antenna on it. And then everybody said, I need to carry one of these with me. And pretty soon you can't see them anymore almost. They're remarkable. The laptop computer evolved in the same way. Now everybody affords them. I won't say everybody because, of course, there are tremendous numbers of poor people out there. Everybody should get the same amount of food, though. Everybody should get the same amount of water. Why is that a privilege rather than a right of being born into the human race? All right? It's not a race, by the way, because <laughs> we've lost that one already. It's actually a species. The human is a species, a single species that behaves like a hundred and however many nations there are in the United Nations, it behaves like that many different species. But it should behave like a single species in providing the basics to every one of them. Because why? Because I'll tell you why. I think the reason that I think this will succeed is from all of the interest expressed from commercial sources now, not domestic, you know, people that just come out of the woodwork and say, great idea, can I work with you? There are developers now that are serious about developing and building vertical farms within what we would call eco-parks or eco-cities. There are 12 of these things being planned throughout the world. It's remarkable. Um, and not just in Dubai and not just in Abu Dhabi and not just in China, although those are places, in, and in Chan, Korea. Uh, Las Vegas, for instance, has a real interest in this. Uh, that's a desert community, in case no one has noticed, <clears throat> although you'd never know that by going there. <laughs> uh, Phoenix has a big interest in this. I mean, any large city that's stuck in the middle of a desert should have a huge investment in food. Now, if you're an Arab country, of course, you can afford most Arab, not all Arab countries, but if you're a rich Arab country with lots of oil, you trade oil for food and water and things like this, but they don't even want to do that anymore. What they would love to do is be self-sufficient so they can sell everything and make a huge profit rather than having to spend some of that on themselves. So I think the logic of this is inescapable. Um, and that is that uh, we must learn to feed the city people with city-grown food. Yeah.